YouTube, Kurt Curtis. I've been meaning to make this video for a while. I'm going to get straight to the point. I'm going to show you guys how I pack cards uh, shipping with eBay standard envelope. People are way overthinking this. Um, I've shipped hundreds of trading cards this way and very rarely had a problem. Um, I know you can ship stamps and money and stuff with this uh, eBay standard envelope as well. I know that they've added that, but I have no experience with that stuff. So this is specifically for trading cards. I'm going to show you guys how I pack a single card and also an order that has multiple cards. After I show you guys that, I'm going to explain some tips and just experience I've had um, using the eBay standard envelope. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. But I'll just show you guys how I pack cards. Um, first, regular envelope, nothing fancy. All you need is a regular envelope. Um, the size does matter. Like if the envelope's too big or too small, it's not going to work. But if you just have a standard envelope, it's most likely going to be uh, it's going to qualify for the eBay standard envelope. Check the, check the dimensions. Just Google eBay standard envelope. It'll tell you all about it. But if you just have a regular envelope, odds are it's going to work. Nothing fancy. I use top loaders, penny sleeves, and team bags. So I use a magic card, for example. If I'm going to ship this, I put it in a penny sleeve. Put this in a top loader. And I put it in a team bag. Now, the team bag might be overkill. I like to do it because it is, it seems professional, but you could probably get away with just putting some masking tape over here so the card doesn't fall out. Not regular tape, like painter's tape, masking tape, that blue tape that doesn't like leave residue when you take it off. Put it in the team bag. Seal it up. Put it in the envelope with nothing else. That's it. You don't need cardboard. You don't need extra paper. Like this is not going to bend. Obviously anything you ship could possibly get damaged. I've never had a card get damaged. I've shipped hundreds of cards like this. Um, what I do too though, is I will take a piece of packing tape, very small piece. And I will just put it on the back just to make sure the card's secure. Cause I mean, this is like a lick envelope. Some are self sealed, but just to make sure. And then the label goes on here. Now, with this kind of envelope, it's skinny. You're gonna, it's, the label's gonna look like this. It's not gonna fit. So what I do is I just cut the bottom. As long as you don't cut out any information, it's fine. It's not, I'm not, I've never had a problem. Now, I prefer the envelopes that are kind of like, um, like Christmas card, birthday card envelopes where they're like more, they're just bigger. The label will just slap right on and you don't have to cut it. These are just what I have at the moment. So this is what I'm using. That's all, you don't, it's nothing fancy, it's just, Card in a penny sleeve, in the top loader, in a team bag, in here, put the label on it, good to go. Now, if you're gonna be shipping multiple cards, <clears throat> the team bag is required. So what you do here, I know, I think technically you can ship like two or three top loaders. I'm not sure about the rules. I don't know if it's changed. I never ship using more than one top loader. If I have someone order multiple cards, I put the cards in another penny sleeve and I put this in the team bag next to the um, card with the top loader. Seal it up. There's your stack of cards. Now they're not all in a top loader, but this top loader is going to prevent it from bending. And the same thing, you just put it in the envelope, you're good to go. No paper, no cardboard, you don't need any of that. It's good to go. Um, with magic cards, sometimes, like these are thin. The, the thickness of the card is gonna matter. Like I can fit multiple cards in one top loader if the cards are thin enough and then you don't even need to like put them here. You can fit multiple cards in one top loader. But for example, a card like this, these Flare 94 marble cards, these are thick cards. Only one of these is gonna fit in a top loader. So then you're gonna have to put the other one um, like next to it, like in the team bag. But um, yeah, that's it. It's very simple. Uh, people are way overthinking it. That's how I ship cards. Um, you do have to be careful about the thickness of the envelope. Like, I think the most cards I've shipped is like six or seven maybe. But, you know, if I'm shipping six or seven of these, it might be an issue. So if you're shipping like a bunch of cards, um, you're going to want to double check the thickness of the envelope. But the, um, if that's the case, like if someone orders like 10 cards or something, the price is probably going to be more than $20 and then you're just going to ship it first class anyway because it's not going to qualify for eBay standard envelope. It's only for cards priced at $19.99 or less. But um, 
yeah, that's that. That's just how I do it. Now, just some, just some experience from shipping hundreds of cards. The tracking is a little janky on this. Um, it's not, they don't use a hand scanner. So you don't bring these to the post office and expect them to scan it. They won't, it, it won't scan. These get scanned um, through the, through the sorting system. Like when it goes in the belt, they just automatically get, get scanned. So this does sometimes bring up a problem because it will show that it's delivered when it made its appearance at the last facility before it's actually getting delivered. So I've gotten messages from people saying, hey, it says my card's delivered, but it's not delivered. I've responded to this message several times now that I just have a copy and paste that I just send people explaining to them that the tracking is different and please just give it a day or two and the card should arrive. And in 99% of the cases, um, I get a message back from the person later that day. They say, hey, the card got delivered, thank you. Or the next day the card gets delivered. I had one case where it said delivered and then the card didn't get delivered to like four days after, but that's only happened once out of like hundreds of cards. I mean, we're talking like 500 plus cards. It's only happened once. And I've only had one card not make it. We're just, just no delivery scan, no nothing. Card never showed up. Possible the person is lying, but typically people aren't trying to scam you for like low end cards, like cheap cards, but it is possible. And then I had one card that took a month to get delivered, but typically like this stuff will get delivered uh, just as quick as like a first class package. So there's that to keep in mind. Um, like I said, I have a copy and paste message I send people, people are usually understanding. Also, sometimes the card doesn't actually get a delivery scan. Like it just doesn't get a delivery scan, but then I never hear anything from uh, the buyer. And so I assume the card gets delivered. Like I said, the tracking on this is janky, but it's better than nothing. And it's actually cheaper than a stamp. At the moment of uh, this video, it's 53 cents to ship a one ounce um, envelope. You can ship up to three ounces. Typically, if you're shipping just one card, it's gonna be less than an ounce. Um, the second you start adding multiple cards, you're gonna make sure you wanna weigh it just in case. Another thing I thought I'd mention is um, when you list an item, you have to select eBay standard envelope as your shipping, op shipping option as you're listing the item. If you have old listings that you, know, you listed before eBay standard envelope was a thing, and you go to ship it, that option is not gonna come up as far as I understand. That's how it used to be. I don't know if they've changed it. So, you know, when you're listing stuff, you have to make sure you have eBay standard envelope as your shipping option. And if you have old listings, you might wanna double check and change it. But I mean, at this point, eBay standard envelope's been out for a while. So, I mean, if you got a listing up from that long ago, it's possible. But um, yeah, definitely double check that. I do do other eBay videos, do, doing like what sold videos and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing, check those out. Um, I'm on my way to a thousand subs and I've been working really hard to get there. Um, so if this was helpful at all, even if you're not interested in watching my other videos, please consider giving me a sub. Thank you guys for watching. Stack dividends, sweet floors. Until next time. Buy low, sell high. I'll pick up anything that catches my eye. Pay 50 cents with a little bit of luck. Put it on eBay for 50 bucks. At that price, you can't go wrong. It's a whole box of Pokemon. The first edition charts are in there. She asked me if five bucks for the box is fair. Hell yeah, I'll scoop that up. You mind if I back up my truck? Gonna find a box of video games too and all the bull shirts from 92. How much are the shirts? 50 cents? Yeah, I'll take the whole lot of them. Oh, you say you got more inside? Yeah, I can wait. I have all the time.